Well, 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 hello everybody. How's everyone doing? Tonight we're going to be making a very special type of pie and it's going to be called a chocolate silk pie and it gets its name because it's supposed to be a very, very silky-ish texture. So I went and picked this up. It's a pie tin and it has a lid on it. And then I also got this pre-baked crust and the first step is going to be to bake it. So we're going to let this thaw out for a bit and then once it's thawed we're going to um, bake it up for about 10 minutes and then we should be ready to go. But before we do that, we're going to gather some of the ingredients while this crust is thawing in the fridge. And go over here. All right, everybody. So I'm back with all the ingredients. It only needs seven simple ingredients. So I got six of them out for you right now. I'm going to get the seventh one here very shortly. Oh, and this is already starting to work its magic. Thawing should be there soon. Um, so first is the pie crust. Again, it is um, being thawed so that it'd be easier for me to um, roll it out. We are about fourth of the way through. Might speed it up a bit. We have the dairy-free-ish um, coconut milk this time we have. We have an avocado, and it looks really nice. It's gonna be so good in the pie. We have some Cocoa Whip. If you've seen the cocoa, coconut cream pie, this is the same topping, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. This is the pure vanilla extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys. Carefully, let's do that. And look at that, so beautiful. We got some pure maple syrup. And the last thing, the most obvious one, it is not a chocolate silk pie without chocolate. So we're gonna be using some dark chocolate chips. Again, it's a vegan recipe, so we're using dark chocolate. And the first thing to do is to make sure that this thing thaws and then we'll be ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. So let me look at the instructions here. So this is gonna be a baked shell. So that means we're gonna heat up the oven, pre-bake the crust, and while I'm at it, I'm going to carefully unroll this now that the thawing is done. So there we go. It is all unrolled out. I'm going to go ahead and fix any cracks over here and then we're going to bring it over. And those tears are usually from, they're kind of common in unrolling, so I'm just going to go ahead and press them in after washing my hands, of course. So, now that we did that, I'm going to bring it over here so I can show you guys the crust before I fit it into the pan. Now, I was let me see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the pie crust here, the tin, the lid. I'm going to pull the lid off. Ugh. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the parchment liner. Parchment liner is real. Is if you're going to use it for uh, cakes, which this can also be used for. That's what the parchment liner is there for, so it can be easier stacking it. But because it's the pie, the parchment paper is not needed. 
So now that the parchment paper is out, um, we're going to go ahead and fit this pie crust in. Again, I'm, I, there are some tears, I see that, and I'm going to fix any more that there are. So this one is there, so I'm going to pull that over, press that in, lift it, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there aren't any more. And again, I will do that um, again after I put it in the, the tin so that it bakes nice and even. So this whole thing came off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch. I'm not going to stretch it actually. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this crust in to the pan, the base of it. As you can see, some of it's already going to line up the sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press in any remaining tears in the crust. And I'm going to put them, press them once it's in the pan so that it bakes nice and even. Because that's the last thing we'll want is there to be tears in the final pie. And again, while I'm doing that, I'm also pressing along the edges here too. And I will do that over here as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring some additional dough in over here, stretch it out, incorporate that in here, press it in. Uh, that didn't really press in very well, so I'm going to take another piece to fill in that void. So now I'm going to use the rest of this to bring up the sides, so... So basically I'm just making sure that it is all lined up perfectly, which it almost is. If your pie crust was perfect, then, then it would be rolled right into the tin. Again, just making sure that it all lines up here, all the way up to the fill line, which is up here. So again, I'm going to put that in here, put, fill this void in, fill in this void over here, and there's this void here that will be put in, and then we will be done with the, with the pie crust. It is now ready to go in the oven. When the oven is done with preheating, it will be baked, pre-baked for about 10 minutes, then it will cool, and that way it will solidify and harden. And then we're going to let that cool down, and while it cools down, we're going to put the rest of the ingredients together. Alright, now the oven just beeped, so it is done. And it's going to go in for 10 minutes. Let's say over here. Say over. No. All right. So, here we go. It's about to pop right into the oven for 10 minutes. And then I need to get some hot pads ready so that when the 10 minute mark comes, we can pop it out let it cool and I'm going to get a wire rack out too so and then we'll start preparing the rest of the ingredients all right we got less than a minute before the pie crust is finished with baking so what we're going to do is we are going to get out the cooling rack from 
the storage compartment and then we're going to put the, the pie crust on it so that it cools without having to deal with the excess exhaust as the oven cools down. Alright, here we go. Five seconds. Let's put this out. And now I'm going to get some hot pads. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. Ooh, look at that. That looks so beautiful. So, let's pop it over here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let this cool. And while it is cooling, we're going to prepare the filling. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grind up the chocolate chips in preparation for being incorporated in the coconut milk. So we're going to throw this into the food processor real quickly. And plus we're going to use some of these shavings for the topping later at the final step. So I got the chocolate chips in there. We're going to put this lid on and let's give it a whirl. Ooh, look at that. Let's pulse it. That's good. All right, so the next step is we're going to make the ganache. Now the ganache is very crucial. So I put some coconut milk in with the, the pre-ground chocolate. And we're going to briefly whisk that in so that it's nice and incorporated. And now all we're going to do now is just let the chocolate melt its way into the mixture. And then we're going to whisk it up. And then we're going to take it off the heat. We're going to let that cool. And then we're going to go on to the main part of mixing in the filling. Alright, so the ganache is done. Now we're just going to let the ganache cool for a few minutes. And then once it's cooled, we will begin the main part of the mixing. And this is where this comes in. This is what will help give it its silky texture. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm, are you going to get grossed out? Probably. Trust me, I almost, I almost didn't consider making this recipe, but trust me, this is, this is going to work. We are going to disguise its taste with these two ingredients right here. And we're going to use a teaspoon every now and then to taste test them, so I might need a couple, actually. And we'll get back to it. Alright, so, it is now time for the main part of this whole ordeal. We're going to take the avocado, we're going to cut it in half. So I'm going to get around, and we're going to Open it, and we're going to scoop out the inside. Alright, now we're going to plop the halves into the food processor. Let's finish scooping stuff. Scoop that in. We're going to get the other one in, and then we're going to blend that, and then after that is done, we're going to put in all the rest of the ingredients. So. Alright, now that the avocado is in, we're going to blend it, and then we're going to blend the chocolate in there. Here we go. Alright, so, now that the avocado has been ground, we're going to pour in the ganache into the mixture, and we're going to use a knife and we're going to get every last bit of it out. We're going to put in the extract and the syrup. And then we're going to blend the whole thing together. So 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to splash in the vanilla extract. And then I'm going to put the top on. And I'm going to put some maple syrup in there. Now that we're done with that, we're going to blend this whole thing up. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is some good looking filling right there. Now usually you would stop and taste test it a few times and that's what I did. And then you could add additional extract and syrup if necessary. I just tasted it after blending some more of this in and it is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and transfer this to the pie crust. Alright from here we're about to pour this right into the crust. Here we go. And wow, does it look amazing right there. That is an amazing pie. Look at that. It fills all the way up. That is exactly what we want to hear. So now we're going to top it off with whatever is there and scrape that in. And then it'll be time to put it in the fridge. And now with that said, we're going to go ahead and pop this right into the fridge. And we're gonna let it chill. The recipe says five hours, but because of the time of night, we're gonna wait till the morning. So here we go. We're gonna pop it into the fridge. And so I don't forget, I'm gonna put a post-it note on the cocoa whip so that everybody knows to hold off on it because it's going to be used. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And the next time you'll see this is in the morning. It is the next morning now that it's got plenty of time to sit. Um, I'm going to put the cocoa whip on, top it off, and it will be done. Alright, now that I've put the cocoa whip on, I just need to top this off with some chocolate shavings. And that's what this baggie is for. So I'm just going to put this all around the pie. And then the pie will be finished. All I need to do really is... And before you serve it, let it sit out for 15 minutes, cut it up, and eat it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next video.